What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Frost and Austin and I am getting loaded up, geared up to go out to the lake before my family gets up. We are going together as a family. I am really excited about it and I want to tell you guys the video today is going to be the top six baits that I think you should master on herring lakes. So if you master these six techniques, you will be a dominant fisherman on herring lakes. I promise you that. The links to all the baits are down in the description of this video. So every bait I talk about, all the different riggings, all the different heads, everything is down in the description. So without further ado, let's get after it. I hope these baits and tips techniques help you put more fish in the boat on herring lakes and alewife lakes. I, herring and alewife are pretty much cousins. They're almost the same exact bait fish. Uh, alewife live really north of North Carolina. So I don't care whether you're in Smith Lake, Alabama, Lake Lanier, Georgia, Clarks Hill, South Carolina, Hartwell, Russell, Kiwi, Jocasse, Lake Norman, Kerr Scott, anywhere where there's herring, Western North Carolina, into Alabama, East Tennessee, this whole region has a ton of herring. So first things first, I would say like you have to be able to master this bait is a soft jerk bait. All right, so that bait right there, boom. That bait right there, that's just a zoom fluke. I also really, really like a sixth sense flush, um, but it's not just the fluke as a soft jerk bait. This bait can be thrown on a jig head burning it. This bait can be thrown on an underspin. Casey Ashley won the classic on Lake Hartwell, a herring lake with that bait right there on an underspin. Uh, I've seen people, you might think I'm crazy, but I've seen people throw that bait right there on Alabama rigs. I mean, literally that bait is an absolute juggernaut on our herring lakes. And why is it? Because herring are very long and slender bait fish. You know, they're four, they're five inches long, they're thin, uh, they're, they're wide. I mean, a soft jerk bait like a fluke uh, is just such a good imitator of that bait fish. So when you're, you know, using this bait, there's such a plethora. I mean, I use this on the back of chatter baits. I throw this, uh, taking the skirt off of a jackhammer and just throw that just on a bladed jig. I throw this on a scrounger head. I mean, that bait right there is a hundred percent my number one bait that you need to master if you want to be just an absolute beast on herring lakes. I mean, literally some of my very best friends, they're awesome guides. You talk about Emil Wagner, you talk about Tyler Campbell down at Hartwell who just finished runner up at the Bassmaster Collegiate Series, Emil who's just, you know, an absolute animal on herring lakes. You ask all of us what our favorite herring bait is, we are all going to tell you that booger right there. Justin Kimmel, you just talk to a couple of the guys that are herring lake specialists and they're going to tell you that bait right there is 100% a bait that you need to master and get really good at on all things, whether you're throwing on a scrounger, a chatter bait, a bladed jig, a swim jig, on a jig head, a, you know, weedless rigging it, nose hook it, whatever you're doing with it, you've got to master the soft jerk bait. So the next bait that I would say, man, you have got to utilize this bait is a hard jerk bait, right? So, you know, right here, this is a Daiwa TD Minnow. I love a Sixth Sense Provoke. I love a Mega Bass Vision 110. I even like some of the Rapala stuff, but a hard jerk bait is an absolute beast. I catch them during the shad spawn, the herring spawn. Catch them in the winter when you have that shad die off, when that water's getting cold and the shad are having a hard time processing and they're having these, you know, very dramatic, slow twitchy deaths. A hard jerk bait absolutely gets it done. Herring love current. I love throwing a jerk bait in current, it, you know, way up river. I mean, I think about a hard jerk bait is so versatile. Uh, and just get so many bites, you know, I like throwing it most of the time on like a, you know, 10 or 12 pound test, depending on if I have it on a spinning rod or a bait caster, but a hard jerk bait literally through the winter into the spring and then back into the fall is an absolute killer. You have got to use it, master it, get good with it. And I promise it will make you more of an assassin on 
herring lakes. The next bait is one of my favorite baits of all time. If you watch the channel, you're gonna be like, oh, maybe you know where I'm going. And that is a walking bait. I absolutely love walking baits. Let's get it in focus right there. Yeah, so that is the Catwalk by Six Cents. Love the Catwalk. Uh, I utilize the I'm a Little Stick, the Skimmers. I like the Magnum Catwalk. I'm just kind of a junkie for walking baits. Uh, like I said, if you've watched the channel for a while, you know that I love walking baits. It's a technique that I think I excel at more so than uh, a lot of people do, just honestly because I have so much confidence in it. But when you think about herring, Herring feed on plankton. So plankton move up in the water column with the sun. And then, uh, you know, so you got plankton move up, the herring move up, and then the bass will use the top of the water column like a wall to ambush. So on herring lakes, maybe more than many lakes, you get a lot of schooling action really year round. There is not a day that goes by where a walking bait is not on the front deck of my boat as a guide, when I'm tournament fishing, whatever. I've caught fish in literally 41 degree water on walking baits on herring lakes because at any point in time, those fish could come up breaking and schooling and that bait is an absolute beast to getting them to bite in a great hookup ratio, lots of treble hooks, man, they come up when they eat it, they get all fouled up, everything. It is a great bait. Now I will say this, I'm gonna do another video on how to choose the right walking bait for your situation, uh, which will be very informative, talking about just different conditions I look for and everything. But that is 100% a top five herring lake lure that you need to master to be absolutely lethal for herring. All right, so once again, kind of like the walking bait. Also, if you've watched the channel for a long time, you know I absolutely love this style of fishing and that is, that's right, big swim baits. I love big glide baits, herring glide baits, big long slender glide baits, chopping glide baits. Holy cow, when I think about herring lakes tend to be clear bodies of water. Uh, they tend to have fish because they have herring in them, which makes bass very aggressive. The bass tend to travel further distances to eat these baits. I mean, just because they're so used to chasing around herring. So when I think about targeting herring fish, dude, a glide bait, it moves so much water. It's so visible. It's so big. It like pumps up their lateral line. They can see it from long ways off. It gets follows. And because it gets follows, it gets bit. I mean, I have caught bags of fish. I'm talking about guide trips where I'm like, yeah, we're gonna go out and smash them on a glide bait, big bag. Dude, we, we might catch 10 or 11 pounds on a freaking seven and a half, eight inch, nine inch glide bait, two pounders, because two pounders eat the crap out of it. You know, those fish don't know how big they are. They just see a big dying herring in the water column. They swim up and they smoke it. But I mean, obviously we catch a ton of big fish too with it. But a glide bait is a bait that you have got to master. I mean, from cast angles, precision castings, casting down docks, casting down rock walls, casting on points, pulling fish off of brush piles, isolated brush piles, pulling them off of isolated rock on points, whatever it is, man, a glide bait is a bait that you have to master. And here's the deal. I have another video coming out soon talking about my five best herring glide baits and once again this is that video is going to be super educational but yeah so anyways a glide bait is number four you have to master glide bait fishing on herring lakes it is a lethal lethal technique to catching numbers and big fish year round on herring lakes i've caught literally i've caught fish literally in 43 degree water on big glide baits on herring lakes and as high as 92 degree water um, so they eat it year round and it gets big bites, it produces big bites and it produces numbers. So the next bait is a finesse swim bait. So that booger right there, that's a divine swim bait. Uh, I think it's a three and a half incher from Sixth Sense, but whether it's a Kai Tech, whether it's the divine, you have got to utilize soft finesse swim baits. I cannot tell you how many tournaments over the years I've won shad spawn, winter, fall, summer literally on a finesse swim bait i mean once again back to kind of that soft jerk bait deal 
Dude, these fish are just programmed to eat bait fish. They are literally instinctually programmed to destroy these herring. So when I think about that, I'm like, okay, they really are dialed into that kind of four inch, that three and a half to really five inch size bait that looks like a bait fish. And if it has a natural swim to it, I'm telling you those fish cannot get conditioned to those baits. I have people all the time that say, oh, the fish, they're not eating a kite like they used to. I'm like, yeah, they are. They always do. They always will. They just, they're programmed to eat bait fish. And if you're around active fish seeking to eat that right there, is an unbelievable bait once again i mean winter time you can put it on a heavy head like a 7 16th half ounce head and drag it on the bottom i've won tournaments doing that uh, all the way through the spring getting on points those fish staging pre-spawn i've caught them doing that uh, you know when it's calm i've in the middle of the summertime when they're getting under docks skipping that under docks and just slow reeling it out just boom feeling that hard tick i've caught them doing that herring spawn up on walls out on points over brush piles i mean literally that bait right there is unbelievably versatile and uh will a hundred percent get it done all right so the last one is i kind of saved it because people are gonna be like oh maybe controversial whatever i don't really care but this is just the truth if you are fishing on herring lakes you have to get good at it and that is just a good old fashioned jig head manner right there son uh that is a i don't freaking know maybe dirty jigs guppy head or something and that's the new berkeley something soft bait i throw a bunch of different soft baits i really like the jackal drift fry whoa that's a little secret but a jig head minnow man seriously whether it's the winter time you know like i said i like utilizing a soft jerk bait on an underspin or something out in deep water or what we call ditch fishing because what will happen in the winter time those fish will retreat to those ditches usually herring lakes they're deeper 45 degree angle banks uh, and they get they get in the, what we call the ditches or the creek channels down and honestly i've seen them in as deep on some of the lakes like lake joe cassie 100 foot of water and on lakes like hartwell uh, Glenville, some other lakes, they might get into ditches in 25, 30 foot of water. And that's pretty normal. They might suspend, they might be on the bottom, they do a whole bunch of different things. And I think about presenting a bait in the wintertime down to them. So that bait right there, presenting that bait to those fish, keeping it down there, keeping it above them, and uh, it gets absolutely chewed. I mean, it's one of those baits that you've seen it dominate on the tournament trails. You, maybe you've seen it dominate YouTube channels, whatever. But that bait right there, especially in utilization of forward-facing sonar, is an absolute beast. You have got to be using it, and it will put them in the boat 100%. That is a fish catcher if you master those six techniques and once again all the links to all the baits are down in the description but if you master those baits i promise you there is not a day on a herring lake when you can't put many fish in the boat and honestly have a chance at some really nice fish so i really appreciate you guys a ton thank you for watching this video i hope it was educational i hope it helps you put more fish in the boat and uh yeah give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and yeah till next time see you guys